G'day guys, we're north of Perth today, out in about the 26 metre mark. We've just had a couple of guys completely come and drop in on what I'm doing, but that's okay. We're out here chasing tuna today. We're just going to go find some schools, there's plenty around. We're going to just be throwing the Keeling stick bait here, TD Black 4000 on the TD Black Slugger rod. Uh, pretty, pretty perfect combo to be honest. Uh, it's going to require a fair bit of run and gun, so it's going to get a bit rough. That's okay though, but all in all, I think we should be able to get a few. There's a lot of, it's, it's all southern blues out here anyway, little small ones. So we'll go find some schools and see how we go. Let's get into it. Guys, because these tuna are absolutely fucking, oh, absolutely everywhere. I've got them all around the boat now. This, this is going to be a beautiful little southern blue. I don't like the creepy coming out this rod. It almost sounds like the reels got in properly. But that's all right. Oh, look at that rod. <laughs> we'll just turn the outboard off because there's no need to have it on now. Just a noisy two-stroke, really, isn't it? Now I'm expecting when this fish gets up to the boat, there it goes. It's just going to start dogging me down deep. That's what these southern blues do. We are on a fairly long rod here as well, which isn't advantageous to the small boat, but it helps me get that cast. Listen, look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Ugh. Pull the old pants up. Falling down. But yeah, this is a lovely southern blue. Woohoo! <laughs> Tuna fishing, how good is it? Especially when you can do it on this little 4.2 metre boat. That's what makes it fun. You know, sure, you, you can have the big boats on them, we're just going to. We're almost there. Well, no, no, he's off again. Look at that. <laughs> he saw the boat, I thought I had a chance to grab him, but I just did it. <laughs> Oh no, I'm looking at the GoCrow battery, it's gonna go out. Hurry up, Brendan, come on. <laughs> up we come. Come on, Tuna, you're almost there. Oh. Come on. Oh, man. Still green. Guys, we, we might miss half this fight, I'm sorry. That's what, what I get for not changing GoPro batteries, but he's just gone. Super deep now. I'm really not happy with the creeks in this real seat, to be fair. Oh, I would do something about it. I don't want to put a gaff into it, guys, because as soon as you put a gaff into these fish, they bleed everywhere and it makes a bloody mess of my boat. Are we going to get in this? Look at him! There he is, guys! Look at this! Whoa. Actually, this is a beautiful tuna. This one here, look at this. Let's quickly grab it. Whoa. Look at that, guys! Woohoo! Lovely tuna. Well, I'm gonna get him off and let's uh, go find another school. Look at that killing stick, mate! You beauty! By the way, before I get any haters, I know this one's not a southern blue. <laughs> it was, I was only calling it southern blue whilst it was still in the water. But still a good tuna, which is going to be fantastic.
moving very fast. I don't know if we'll get one out of it. It's moving ridiculously quick. But you never know your luck when spinning for tuners. No, well, hold on, here we go then. Moved over there now. Quickly get this stick bait in and we're gonna be able to cast with the wind on this one. Let's just hope the fish wanna eat. Big long cast, stick baits in the water. Now let's just hope. Yep, there he is, got him. That was a good strike, that, that was on the surface. And it, what it is guys, when, when chasing tuna, if you're having trouble getting on them, make sure you get in front of them. So work out which way they're traveling and then just stop the boat, turn the motor off and almost let the tuna swim into you. And, and that's how you're gonna get them really quick and easy. This is not a big tuna. <laughs> Hopefully this is a southern blue after I was calling that other one a southern blue the whole time. <laughs> but that's all right. This one hasn't even gone for a run yet. He, he's only a small fish, I think. God, he's got a few friends with him. Definitely a southern blue. A lovely little jelly bean tuna, this one. Oh. There he is, in the boat. All right. Let's show you this fish. Oh. Little jackhammer. And there you go again on the little keeling stick bait. Another tuna. Now guys, a lot of people, these bleed like crazy too. A lot of people will keep chasing these all day long. I don't really see the point in catching tuna, stressing them out, tiring them out, and then releasing them. You're only allowed three. I'm only a family of four, so I only need two. So I've literally bagged out in five minutes on tuna. Um, well, my bag out, which as I said, is two fish. Um, and so I'm gonna get this one in the esky and get going home. Look, guys, <laughs> hope it was a, a bit of an education one. It's a bit of fun. I'm only in a four meter dinghy, so yeah. Really bloody good. <laughs> All right, we're going to catch you on the next episode. See you later.